to her. Yeah, good luck. <laughs> Wishing you all the best. Um, keep the umbrella for the remainder of the night. Yeah, we're still thinking the chance for wet weather right through the overnight hours tonight, and then things will start to get a little bit better by the end of the weekend. Now, here's a live look at Rehoboth Beach. You might not be able to tell, but there is some sand on the boardwalk. Yesterday, they had some flooding issues, and the wind was just up. Uh, pretty bad there. Now we are going to be watching things start to calm down, but not for some as we head farther to the south. Here's a look at the tropics. We now have major hurricane Matthew category three hurricane maximum sustained winds of 115 miles per hour. Now by the time we head into next week, that's going to be creeping into uh, northern Florida or excuse me, off of Cuba and potentially into southern Florida. So that is something we're going to have to watch very, very closely. It's still too early to tell the impacts for South Florida, but over the weekend you definitely want to stay tuned for some updates. Here's a look at our satellite and radar. It has been quite unsettled in our region, but right now we're catching a break from the heavy rain just under some cloud cover in the DC Metro to Gaithersburg and including Baltimore and Annapolis and also across Southeast Maryland. Now through tonight, take a look at our future cast 630 as you head home from work shouldn't be caught under any heavy rain. So that's a good thing. But as we approach midnight, that will be our best chance for some wet weather. So Friday night football upon us. I would suggest just taking the rain gear just in case because it is going to be rather cool temperatures in the mid 50s, some rain and drizzle will be possible. Also this weekend we have the Fairfax Kids Fest. I'm going to be attending. Brian Vandergraaff's going to be attending. A lot of us going to be there. Some showers possible on Saturday. Sunday looks to be a little bit brighter. Still some clouds to start and our temperatures found in the upper 70s and you can check out our storm track. So take the kids on out. That's going to be a start time of 10 a.m. Here's a look at our seven day extended forecast Monday and Tuesday looking much brighter. Our temperature is going to be getting into the mid 70s so it will start to feel a little bit warmer for the early half of the week, but overall we are staying quite seasonable for this time of year with also some sunshine. Oh, sunshine. I've forgotten what that's like. I know. Many okay. of us haven't seen that in quite a while. I'm going to have to find the sunglasses. Oh, for sure. Right. I think that's definitely in store. Great, Molly. Thank you very much. And don't forget the ABC 7 Stormwatch weather team is on your side around the clock. Be sure to stay connected with us 24 7 on WJLA.com, on social media, and through our free Stormwatch 7 weather app. Well, tonight's 2020 takes uh, digs deep into a small town murder case that has been raising issues of race and justice for years. This is after a black man in upstate New York was found not guilty of killing his ex's 12 year old son who was white. 2020 anchor Elizabeth Vargas joins us now with more on this story. Elizabeth, we understand that you spoke to Nick after the verdict. What did he have to say? I think he was understandably very relieved that he had been found not guilty. This has been something that has been going on in this town for five years. He's been living under that cloud of suspicion, and many in town think he is still guilty. I'll be curious to see if he manages to stay in that community. He does have a civil suit pending against the police department for falsely imprisoning him and violating his rights in the days after the murder. But this is, you know, this is a story. This is a terrible killing of a 12-year-old boy in this tiny town, almost all white. There there have been ramifications and, and, and deep concerns about racism in this case since he is one of the only black men in town, a former boyfriend of the mother of the boy. Uh, and, uh, and finally, just this week, just two days ago, this not guilty verdict. Well, I'm sure he did have to be relieved. You said that he does have a civil case pending, but what happens next? Are they still out searching for another suspect? They are not. The district attorney announced case closed. We know who the killer is. She maintains it, it still continues to maintain, even though she lost in court, that the killer is Nick Hillary. Police are not out looking for anybody else. Um, it's very interesting to see that and disturbing and distressing because you want to see justice in a case like this. And, uh, and basically, because of double jeopardy, that's it. Nick Hillary is free. He's been found not guilty. The case was largely circum it was all circumstantial evidence because there was no forensic evidence, no fingerprints, no DNA, no fibers, no hairs, uh, no strands, and nothing to connect uh, Nick Hillary to the crime scene, which is why he says he was a victim of racism since he was targeted from the start. Prosecutors and police maintain he was the only person in town who had a motive to kill that boy and had ample opportunity. We do see on surveillance tape that he is right next to the little boy just minutes before he's murdered. Yeah, we were showing that video of them in the uh, parking lot there. Really fascinating. Um, I urge right. everybody to tune in tonight for that 2020. Elizabeth, thank you. Appreciate it.
Make sure you catch that 2020 sure. tonight right here on ABC 7. We're coming up here on ABC 7 News at noon. At midnight, the internet may change, and four states have filed a lawsuit to stop it. We'll explain. Stay with us. Join ABC 7 for Fall for Fairfax Kids Fest. It's a big world, hundreds of countries, thousands of cities, but there's one city that's clearly the city to buy your next car. Welcome to Waldorf, Maryland, home to Waldorf Toyota Scion. Thousands of savvy Toyota and Scion buyers make their way to Waldorf every month. Why? Because our giant selection of new and used vehicles at Waldorf Toyota and Scion means we have exactly the perfect vehicle that you're looking for. Plus, Waldorf Toyota Scion's low, low prices save you money. Lots of it. Welcome to bigger selection, bigger savings, and bigger buying satisfaction. Welcome to Waldorf Toyota Scion. <laughs>